bang on schedule. Said I was getting three cars today. It's three o'clock and so far I've got none of them. <laughs> the Octavia has just arrived. Jeff, what were you even thinking? Hello. Welcome to Jake Picks Up Cars for People. Just taking it for a drive and I'm pretty sure I hate it. Good morning and welcome to... It's a puddle. I thought it was some plastic, but it's a puddle. Welcome to Worcestershire Shire. It is May, British summertime. It's nine degrees, and we have not seen a break in the cloud for three days straight. Anyway, welcome to Funky Friday with Jeff Buys Cars. I've already drank two coffees at cafe number eight, down in Upton upon seven. I've had two flat whites and I am wired. I'm actually doing some car stuff today. I've got a Volvo that I need to fetch from Kent, a Renault from Gloucester, and I've got a car that I'm getting for free. The Volvo is being driven to me, the Skoda is being driven to me, so that means I've only actually got to collect one car. So join me as we go down to Gloucester to buy a convertible for this weather. The convertible is not for me, it's for a gentleman who has um, got in touch from YouTube. He's coming across from New Zealand to England to spend the summer. <laughs> and he wants a convertible. So jump in the car with me and uh, we'll, we'll go have a look at this Renault Megane. Crikey, gonna need to lie down at the end of this. The good news is I don't have to go to Kent today. Basically, I bought a car from Kent and then I looked at the trains and I looked at a map and I looked at times and it was gonna be an eight hour round trip that was gonna cost me 80 pound in trains and at least 40 pound in diesel. So I posted on the Jeff Buys Cars page asking if anybody fancied doing it and a young man called Jake said, here Jeff, I'll be up for that. So he's bringing the car up from Kent for me so I don't have to, that frees me up to do lots of other stuff. Right, gotta go, Funky Phil's calling me now. Hello. Welcome to Jake Picks Up Cars for People. Today, I've just got myself a Volvo 850 TDI. I actually know much about the diesel, diesel 850s. 940 is great. I've never actually been in an 850. It's quite nice. Feels much more modern than 940. I'm currently test driving a Renault Megane 1.6. Uh, I've just realized as I've got down here that not only did it look much better in the pictures, but it's a category N insurance write-off and I've just taken it for a drive and I'm pretty sure I hate it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, that was like the quickest car review ever. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna message Kevin and I'm gonna say, right Kevin, how long have we got to find you a car? Because even though this is low mileage and the history's good, I'm pretty sure this is a hateful little thing. It's gold with a beige interior. The interior is a little bit tired. It doesn't have any heated seats, although the leather's all right. But I just think, I just don't think it's a very nice car. So I don't think that's for me. I'll show you the outside though. Um, we'll turn it off. It's also, it's a push button start and a stupid key. What was I thinking? We're just gonna have to go find him a Volvo C70 or a Saab 93 because this car is just, it's not for me and therefore it's not for Kevin. And I'd be doing Kevin a disservice if I went and bought him a Megane. So I'll show you the outside of the car. Also, yeah, I've just got down here and discovered that it is a Cat N insurance write-off. Um, you're, you're probably there in the comments being like, Jeff, what were you even thinking? What were you thinking? Oh, it looked nice in the pictures. So, um, right, again, I'm pretty sure that should have been a giveaway, um, but I'm pretty sure that is not the car for Kevin. So let's get back in the Volvo and go home. <laughs> right, I'm back at this spot. I've been down to Gloucester. The phone signal everywhere is absolutely terrible. I'm trying to speak to my wife on the phone, trying to speak to the Mac Master, trying to speak to my brother, trying to speak to Funky Phil. None of the phone calls are working. Anyway, I didn't like the Renault. Uh, I've spoken to the gentleman who, who was buying the car for his travels to England, and I've said, that car's a no-go, so we'll find something else. Uh, the skies haven't let up, so we've still got no break in the skies at all. But the good news is the Volvo 850 TDI that is on its way up from Kent is on its way up from Kent. Will it work? It's not code locked, which is good. And now we find out how miserable my journey is going to be because I do not have CDs. Oh, it doesn't even take CDs. Oh. Go on. Yes. It's going to be a good one. 
I'm going to go edit some video and have some lunch while I wait for that car to arrive. And then hopefully the other gentleman is going to arrive to buy the V17 is going to leave me with the Skoda Octavia. So it's all still happening in Jeff land <laughs> where it's absolutely nuts today. So we've just stopped at Colin. Tell you what, the car's nice. The M25 not been kind to me. If we click it on, I reset the trip computer when I left. Oh, is it reset? No, nope. we've done 40 to the gallon and the average speed on this motorway run, 28 miles an hour has been the average. Right, just had a breakfast wrap and a few coffees at cafe number eight. Been editing some of today's video, which to be honest, it's crazy even by my standards. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the Volvo 850 T5 down to the storage yard where the V70 is and the gentleman who was coming for the V70 has just sent me some photos of the Skoda Octavia. The Skoda Octavia does exist and it doesn't look totally crap. So um, what do I do with a Skoda Octavia that is coming in at not very much money? Um, well, it's free, isn't it, basically? It's a free car. I'm going to whack it on Facebook Marketplace, see how much money I can get for it, and add that to the let's move the family to a warmer country pot, which is a new pot that I created on my return from Spain. Right, let's go and get the V70 and move to another location to edit some more video whilst I wait for both cars to arrive. This video is crazy, isn't it? I quite like it. Okay, here we are then. That is the Volvo V70 that the gentleman with the Octavia is coming to collect. Now let's move locations. I've just had confirmation that my Octavia is going to be arriving about 4.30 and my Volvo 850 should be arriving about 3.30. So, we're all good. Uh, right, on to the next thing. It's rained all day, by the way. <laughs> Two o'clock now. I started filming at about nine o'clock this morning. So that was five hours ago. And it's been raining for five hours. Bit noisy here, but that is the car getting a full valet for the new owner. Because I just felt like that's a nice thing when you pick up a, a car. You want it to be completely clean, don't you? Especially if I'm getting a free car as well. So, valet in that car, then pick the kids up from school, then the green one will arrive, then later the Skoda will arrive and that one will go. Capiche? Capiche. Here's a little bonus while they've been cleaning the car. He's just come over to me and he's given me a chocolate cake. Now that must have been in the V70 somewhere. So, the date on that, best before was the 26th of March. It's now the 5th, 4th, 3rd of May? It's the yeah, 3rd of yeah, May. Yeah. So it's a little bit out of date, but I don't remember buying that. <laughs> Mini valet, all done. This car looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, three o'clock. Bang on time, bang on schedule. Said I was getting three cars today, it's three o'clock and so far I've got none of them. <laughs> So here we are then, I'm at a very noisy meeting location waiting for my Skoda to arrive. The Volvo has had a clean and it is looking fantastic. I haven't really fully shown you this car, but now that it's clean, I'll show you the Volvo. Realistically, this is one of the best Volvos I have bought so far. 2.5 petrol manual. Uh, I'm told that the number plate stands for a $20 hand job. It doesn't actually, the first owner's initials were DHJ. And I suspect he died because the car was given this number plate. It was bought brand new with this plate on it. Such a noisy road. And then um, ownership changed quite soon after that. So I suspect the guy died. Right, it's all been cleaned. It's a lovely color. I think it's called, is it called Garnet Red? It's beautiful. Inside is virtually immaculate. It has a Morrison's bag full of history. It's a five-speed manual, original stereo. Absolutely beautiful. It's got some of my stuff in the back that I need to be getting out. But that is one very fine looking car. Um, it did me very well for the last month when I needed a car. And it's probably one of the most sensible cars I've bought for the channel so far. Look, it's, it, there's hardly a mark on it. It's a very, very clean car. If you saw this on Facebook Marketplace and were tempted, uh, I'd say you definitely missed out because it's lovely. A very, very nice example. Uh, maybe put some, some nicer alloy wheels on it and then you'd be away. So, any minute now, my Skoda Octavia is going to arrive. The Octavia has just arrived. Here we go. Right. The, the I, I think they're great. They're just, they're, 
they're a bit dull, aren't they? It's vanilla, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's so it's vanilla. A, it's a tool. But for most people, that's perfect, isn't it? But we're weird because we like oddball cars. Well, yeah. If somebody just wants a family car with space in it, I mean, like, you know, there's there's cubby boxes here. There, you can't go wrong with a know? diesel Octavia estate, can you? Your armrest's got a little thing in it. Your parcel shelf's yeah, got yeah. a little thing in it. I mean, and it's all there and still works. The only I, damage yeah. internal is a bit of taxi exactly. driver oh, damage right. on there. And know? I should probably keep this because it will probably be the most sensible car that I'll come across this year. You won't do but it. I can't no. because of that. No, yeah. you won't do it. It's, it's just not. It's it's a it's a tool. That's all it is. So why do you want to get out of this and into my? Because 32 miles to the gallon Volvo V70. Because this, this I, as I said to you in the messages, I reckon this is going to be four or five hundred pounds for an MOT. Yeah. Yeah. Well, put that on the twelve hundred pound I paid for it. It ain't worth it, is it? it? To me, it's not. MOT runs out in just on just just over a month. Just over a month. A month. A month's MOT. How's that? Eh? All right. Cool. And it's, it, it will not pass. I promise you, it will not pass. Fine. Two, oh, 254,890. Look at that. Look at that. I Quarter of a million. You, I bet you I've done 5,000 miles on it since I've had it. Yeah? I bet you I have, mate. Well, she's a doozy. All right. That is all good and done. I've been and had it cleaned. I've taken some pictures and I've listed it for sale on Facebook Marketplace for 1,100 quid. So, can we add a little bit of money to the Spain pot? Possibly Portugal pot? Uh, now what I'm going to do is go and see if I can take the Renault 10 down to the unit to bring the Volvo 850 T5 back and then I'm still waiting for the green 850 TDI to arrive. Jake is having a horrendous day bringing that up from London. Hopefully he uh, hasn't given up because it really sounds like he's having no fun on all of the roads which are all problematic. Right. Octavia to the Renault, Renault to the Volvo 850 T5, hopefully the green one will arrive. I am a poet, and I did already know it. Now we're in the Renault, this car, and um, it's started, so I'm going to drive this down to the storage unit. I'm not going to film it because I've just got to get this done. The Renault has made it all the way down to the storage unit, so I can jump into the 850 T5 saloon which would be my last car movement for today, but the 850 diesel that is coming up from Kent is still not here, which is worrying because the guy that's bringing it has still got to get a train back to Kent. As long as he gets here before eight o'clock, then he can get home before midnight. It's out of all the cars I've driven today, that 850 T5 is the one. So let's do one last car swap and then we're done. There we go. Back in my favourite. I really should just remove this from Facebook Marketplace because I really do like it. What I should do is just get all the bits fixed that need fixing and uh, just enjoy it. Right, pub. Check out the lines in the sky. It's like what I said earlier on when I was harping on about the weather. Anyway, there has been a slight update. The green Volvo 850 diesel is now here, but when I say here, it's at totally the wrong address. Uh, there's been some slight administration confusion, and poor Jake has not only had the worst day of his life in terms of driving, he's gone 40 minutes north of here, so now I'm gonna have to go and pick him up and take him to a train station. There has been no let up in this sky all day. This sky has hung around this is the third day of it now. When you look at that and tell me if you think that's normal. Right, you're here. It's half past six. Yes. You've basically just had basically the worst day of your life. It wasn't great. So Pretty nice, easy three and a half hour drive up to up to here. Get a train back home, have a nap, go back to go back to bed. It should have been relatively straightforward. For, shouldn't it? Right, put seven hours insurance on it. You yeah. know, that's, be sensible. Stuff's probably going to go wrong. Forgot it was a bank holiday. Yeah. Um, bank holiday Friday and then uh, it, I arrived with 37 minutes left on the policy. <laughs> so uh, not only that, due to probably my bad communication, the car's gone to slightly the wrong address. So we've ended up now uh, trying to run for a train. The car's been okay though. Yeah, it's Apart been right. from the fact that it has somehow managed to dump oil everywhere. <laughs> It's full of oil. It's full of oil. It's dumped something. Um, so that needs a little bit of investigating, but it looks generally all right for the money. So it drives all right. Yeah, you report that it Everything drives. Everything right. seems to work. Good. 
So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not the day that either of us had perhaps planned, but the day that we got. Yeah. Yeah. So, that is the end of the day. We've managed to drop Jake to the training station so that he can go home. And then, embarrassingly, I've finished my day at Halfords having some bulbs fitted to my Volvo. It's raining and we've got to pick Mrs. Jeff up tonight because she's gone out for the night. And I went down to only one bulb at the front and I couldn't get the bulb in, which is really embarrassing. I've got lots of these Volvos, but apparently the 1994 Flummoxed me, I just couldn't get the clip undone. Anyway, that's the end of the day. Nothing wrong with admitting that you're a car-based YouTuber who ended up at Halford's paying to have a bulb fitted. So, not the best day in the world. Lots of things didn't go to plan. Uh, the green Volvo is now uh, on my mum's drive, leaking quite a lot of oil. The, um, what's the other car? The Skoda, I don't even know where the Skoda is. And the Renault Megane is exactly where it started out this morning. So, a day in the life of Jeff buys cars. Absolute chaos. Now, mister, should we go get some pizza? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Saturday morning, um, Crazy Friday has spread into Saturday. Sold the Octavia, got 450 quid for the moving to Spain pot. Probably could have got more, but always better to go with a bird in the hand. And what else was crazy about um, Crazy Friday was Jake eventually, I managed to get Jake back to a train. Jake didn't get home till midnight, but then he texted me and said, I've still got the keys in my pocket. So yes, my Volvo 850 TDI is here, no, I haven't got the keys for it, so they're going to have to be posted. So uh, that's it. That was Crazy Friday. You're, you're probably there in the comments being like, Jeff, what were you even thinking? What were you thinking? Oh, it looked nice in the pictures. He hasn't seen it yet. He's expecting me to turn up in a diesel Saab or an older Volvo convertible. So I'm pretty confident that he's going to be very happy with what he's got. So.